Well, hello, good morning. I've just heard some stuff getting absolutely murdered up there. I'm a little bit late today because I forgot my other hat cam. So I've just spent a bit of time <laughs> making a new hat cam. So hopefully it uh, stays put. But we're going to get in here. There's some, some stuff getting murdered. Throw a bit of top water. We've got good times today. We can probably get out these fish for about three or four hours. So I'll talk you through it. I'll show you what I'm using. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Have a look. See if we can get in there. Start getting them. So basically, the tide is coming up, and the water is not as clean as what I would like. But that might just be here. Might be cleaner as we get around the corner there. And uh, we got the trusty frog on the fluoro flog. Flog. I'm a flog. The the fluoro frog, say that 10 times really quick. Um, run a short leader, 5 -0 hook, put two little beads on the back. I'll show you how to rig it. And we just need to get in here and start getting some fish. Spinning rod. Um, what's this? Is a eight to something pound rod. So nothing too heavy. Still want to be fairly sporting, fairly gentlemanly. We just need to get it up into there and and get snagged. Second cast, yeah, that's it. Um, hopefully we can get absolutely belted very, very shortly. Yeah, I wish this water was a touch clearer, but it'll have to do. So the uh, the fish will just be getting up. They'll be getting up in these mangroves here because these ones. These ones are pretty much, there's pretty much no water on them at low tide. So they sort of take the opportunity to follow the bait fish up here on these incoming tides. And just want to aim for these sticks, sticks, mangrove edges, mangrove edges and the sticks that stick out. And just a touch early, you still might get one but it might take us 20 30 minutes to get a hit or see one or whatever yeah it's still very shallow here but we'll be all right we'll get in there we'll make it happen it's over that log there hey surely oh come on this one oh barra yep got him oh it's a jack that the second one oh my god Barra come out looked at it then Jack come out, looked at it, bit the back of it, let go. Huh. Huh. It's got Barra written all over it under here. Come on. Oh, there's one. Little one, little guy. Oh, he's got buddies with him. He's got heaps of mates with him. Little guy. Oh, we opened the account. It took us a little while. Hey, gotcha. There we go, little Jackie. Little Jackie on the frog there. And he's hammered it. Get that out. They're just starting to come on to kill mode now. I've seen a few. Just swimming around aimlessly. These are like a little sub 40. I've seen a few just swimming around aimlessly this morning. It's been like an hour of torture. And I've had a couple just come out and have a look. I'll just re rig this frog. I think he's pretty much smashed it. But um, they're just starting to come on. I wouldn't be surprised if we start getting a couple in the next, the next hour if we haven't got sort of three, four under our belt worried because that's like now is like prime time in the tide and yeah, we should get another fish out of that one let's keep going you know what I'm gonna change to this other fucking soft plastic popper I'm just gonna change try something different this is a soft plastic popper I'm gonna see if I can get something on it Oh, that's fucking much different, that rod. It's 
different eye. Eat it then. Don't muck around with it. Mm. Come on then, eat it. Literally. Biggest losers in the world. Okay, second cast on this on this popper thing and it's raised two jacks there. Hmm. Interesting. Come on, who's in there? There'll be someone in there, surely. mode feed it through those trees there oh, oh the barra oh, he's looking for it he's looking for it he's looking for it Oh, that's a jack. That's not a barra. Barra's sitting there, though, trying to eat it off the stick. No! Get out of it. There's no way I'm going to miss that. There's a jack and a barra there. Barra hit it first. Jack hit it second. I'm snagged because they hit it. Now I'm trying my second lure in to get snagged. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm all over it this morning. Can I get him out or what? Where is he? Is he still in there? I don't even know if he's still in there, hey? There he is. Oh, no way. I nearly got him on the second rod. <laughs> That's so funny. He's still there, but I can't. I can't cast on this side because he's like, he's gonna just get tangled. Yeah, he's done. Plus, I'm like tangled on my other line anyway. All right, pluck this off the, pluck this off the snag. We gave it a go. We gave it a go. Oh, that's off now. Oh, I must have like when I snagged my other line, I got it off. <laughs> I'm pretty feeling pretty lucky today. Maybe I should buy a lottery ticket, eh? Very lucky. There's one, Jack. Jacko. Oh, Jacko. Come on, Jacko. That's the death zone. That's why you whisper. Oh, he's come off. Good Jack, though. He was alright. I just didn't hook him right, eh? Yeah. Damn! Mm, missed a few opportunities already. Missed a few opportunities now. They just, I don't know. I need to get them. Up in there, that's the fucking death zone. That is just death and destruction. Surely, hey. Surely. Come on. Come on, get out of it. Stop it. Nothing. Wow, that's surprising, man. I'm gonna go again, just in case. I'm gonna make it super hard to get him out. <laughs> Barracuda in there. But yeah, well, nothing but little coders in there, eh? <sighs> no barracudas, eh? Oh, that's a 
zone up in there, isn't it? Oh. Oh, Barry. Oh, Barry and his mate, Barry. Barry and Barry. Barry's on Barry's. Multiple Barry's. They're just hopeless, though. Two Barry's. Two hopeless Barry's. Barris. Get back in there. He's going nuts in there. What's he doing in there? Barra! Is he... Might be one on this one though. Yep, there's one in there. Straight onto a snag. Cool. I've just gone to set that hook on the fish and I've set it into a snag. He's still sitting in there. <laughs> oh well. What's that done and dusted? Oh, there's a couple of little brims in here too. Back us out, back us out, back us out, back us out. Yeah, they're good these little clumps. These little clumps seem to hold fish on this, on these edges, eh? Missed it. Little Barry. Oh, straight onto it. <laughs> oh, little fella. Did I wake you up? <laughs> oh, mate. Straight onto it, eh? Straight into it. Never seen a fish eat so quick. Good sign, though. Means they're firing up. I'm pretty sure he's just holding that hook, eh? You're just holding that hook in your mouth? Yeah. Come here, stop. Never seen a fish eat so quick. <laughs> oh, this looks like there's and Troy. Oh, oh, there's and Troy. Oh, he's got me straight away. I was on that back part. I was on that back route. That, where the stump's coming out and he just went under this bit. I don't know if he's still on. I think I'm just on the snag now. That old chestnut. Oh, where's he put me? Yeah, I got him. Yep. <sighs> See, what happens there is they hook themselves. They hook, get hooked, then they get on a snag and then they just um, make a little hole in their lip where the where the plastic goes in that was a jack that one so power in this tree over here oh there he is trying to stop me around the stick the camera was not on oh, he's got me all the way over there you can see because he got me through that stick there and then under that stick so we're gonna go around that way try and net him no way no way he can get in there maybe we can just grab him with this thing there's the gums we got him on the stick Oh, come bro, he's gonna unhook. Surely unhooks himself, eh? Hey? Oh, the retriever pole does the trick, eh? <laughs> One jack. You turn that off. Woo! What a mish to get a jack out, eh? That little back thing came in handy there. Just grab the, um, oh, grab the hook and the stick and the. And the jack. Ooh. And then go straight back in, mate. There you go. Oh, he says I'm home. Now, this sort of mess here. 
should be able to wind that all the way back through. Oh my goodness, he's going to eat it, he's going to eat it, come on mate, yes, got him, that's a big one, that's a big barra, oh, just... oh my god, get away from the boat, coming out the trolling motor, oh my god, that's a big one, <laughs> goodness, oh I'm glad I put 50 pound on, oh my god, I just channeled my inner, <laughs> Bowley or pelagic pursuit. Oh my god, he's going stupid. He's going absolutely stupid. Get away from that snag. The starters. He's a good one. Let's drive out into the channel here a bit. Oh my god. That's an amazing fish. I always thought he wasn't going to eat us. Oh. Now we just got to play him out and get him to the net. All sorts of rats that will be very lucky to land this fish. Now the small net. Oh my god, I'm struggling. Another net man would be good. Another net man would be very good. Another net boy. Oh my god! It came off! It came off! Oh my god! Woo! That was intense. He just pulled off. Pulled off at the boat. <laughs> You nearly got away. Heart in mouth kind of stuff that when that, that guy comes out of the snag and just decides to eat your plastic. You can see I just had him hooked right there in that fleshy part and then he had his lead he had the leader through his mouth at one point out to the other side. So very lucky. And then I said, Oh, I might lose him here and then he came off and then he was still at the surface going, Let me go and I scooped him with a net. So I'm one one very lucky fisherman and he's one very unlucky fish Whew, here we go heart in mouth kind of stuff let's get him back in eh? how you going you feeling all right had a big fight had a big fight yeah, his fins are going all right ready man is he ready kind of ready yeah there he goes Oh, okay, mate. Just hang around the boat. Yeah, he's alright. Cool. That's very cool. The uh, little soft plastic popper. You see them all rasped up. So I'll cut that off. Redo that. My hook. It's a little bit bent, but I'll run you through these um, after. But for now, we've still got about an hour of primo time. So I don't want to stop and muck around too much. But I promise at the end, I will show you what I've been using and what I'm doing. So. Let's get back in there and let's try and get at least one more fish. I think we can get one more before primo time is over. So let's do it. There's on. Yep. Got him. Got him. Get him out. Come on. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, Jesus Christ. Keep me going, eh? Hey? Get out of these sticks, man. Over here. Oh, he's not bad. Oh, where's he going? Going under the boat. Come on, mate. Just about to call it because it's getting too windy. Very windy, and you're under the boat. What's he doing? He just wants to be under the under the boat. Come here. Come here, loser. Ain't going anywhere, bro. Bro, bro. Come here. Where are you? This wants to be under the boat, man. Hey. <laughs> yeah, he's not a bad one, eh? Hey? Woo, he wanted it. Dude. All right, so I just want to show you how to. Ri I am rigging these things. First things first, 
bit of leader. I've only got what's that? 50 centimeters, 60 centimeters, two feet. So that's about all I need there. And then I've got a 5 -oh hook. But what I do is I get rid of this bit of lead on here because we don't want any extra weight. Even though that's the the chin lock system. That um, even though that's the chin lock system. We don't want any extra weight on there. So we get rid of that and I'll show you how we lock them on there, little trick. So just stick him, he's got like a little bit from the injection mold there. Just stick him through there, boom, and the chin, just make sure it's straight. Pull him down onto that straight edge there. Now what I got here is a Lumo bead. Right, just your standard bait fishing limo bead. I cut it in half. So two halves, flat side and a round side. You put the one half on there, flat side facing up. So he'll go all the way around to the chin. See that? And that replaces our chin lock. So that'll lock his chin up on there. And then the other one, we flip the other way, flat side to the plastic down there on the hook. And then see that'll sit in there best way to rig them is just go like that hook's going to come out there so you just hold it with your thumb twist it back hit it bang comes out there okay there you go that's how I rig them tie it with a loop knot to your uh, to your main line and you're good to go a loop knot uh, probably doesn't matter as much on these ones but loop knot is better to let it sort of do its thing especially with um, surface surface lures so they don't track one way it wouldn't matter as much with this one but if you're using like a frog or a paddle tail or something you don't want it to fall over one way um, if it's got tension on the tension on the line so we'll do a loop knot like that boom put him in there put him up here just make sure that your loop knot's not twisted. And then boom. There. Oh, something's getting destroyed. And then just a couple of loops, a uh, couple of twists around. Back through the loop. Good to go. Okay. Like that. Trim that tag up. And you're good to go. Boom.